Boyle Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports. Hi, Gary. Uh, congratulations on getting through to the quarterfinals. Um, you seem to be wanting to get back to your hotel room with the Horlicks and the slippers and the pipe tonight pretty quickly. Yeah, started off great. Started the second set and I made a complete mess up of whatever I was on. And that, that just done my head in, you know, missing big numbers. I think it was a one treble three. And that was me and my brain was going after that. You know, it's big numbers. Playing well. Practice boards, playing really well. Really happy, you know. Uh, it, was, it was like black cool up there. I'm absolutely sucking. It's absolutely pouring out me. But is it that warm up there? I feel it. I don't, I don't know if I'm getting that age, you know, when you get the, is it the man of the world, but it's, uh, it, was, it was hot, you know, but uh, I don't know if that was just me getting a bit frustrated with myself, making mistakes that I shouldn't be making, but I could have that wrapped up very easily. Okay. Then result is you're through, and um, once again, Mr. Anderson, you're coming up on the blind side. You're sort of lurking about. No one was talking about you. You love it like that, don't you? I do. I don't even throw darts now when I've got five, six weeks off. So what does that tell you? Am I the one with the problem? No, I don't think so. You know, I, I've, I've got a lot of things on there now, you know, kids and that. I'm spending some great time at home. You know, if I can come here and get a good three, four hours every night before I'm due to play, that's all I'm getting in, you know. So it's, it, it's just about working. It's not quite what I want, but uh, I need a bit more. But uh, yeah, like I say, I mean, I don't put a lot of time in just now. And uh, I think next year, next year I'm going to have a, a massive push at darts. You know, I've had a couple of years off now, more or less. And uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have a good push next year. But no, I'm not doing the ones. Do you actually get motivated by the fact that maybe there's an opportunity for you? There's a bit more parity now in the game. Do you seize an opportunity for another world title? Listen, I just turn up and play. You know, that's the way I'm doing it now. You know, I ain't putting any time in. You know, these boys are on it 24-7, the way to Europe, the way to this, the way to that, online darts. I ain't doing it. You know, so the way I look, if they're doing all this practicing and I'm beating them, then I don't know who's doing something wrong. Is it me or is it them? Okay, well, listen, congratulations, Gary, and thanks for your time again. Thank you. Gary, um, you say about a massive push next year. What, what are you including in that? What tournaments are you looking at? Everything except their things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so will we will see Gary on the European Tour at all? Or? No, that's their things. No. Okay, yeah. no any, anything that I can travel to, it's nice and easy. If I can be home a couple of hours, that's what I'll do. You know, it's, uh, I've done it half my life, 25 years now, I've lived out of suitcase. You know, it's time to, I'm, I'm 50 this year, so it's time to, yeah, we'll, we'll plot about, you know, but I, I really want to get back into it. I want to get back playing with the boys. Don't know if I can make it to the, the pub, but if they can play darts nine o'clock at night when I get back, then uh, we'll get a few hours, at least hopefully three, four times a week. Uh, next round, obviously, Dirk van Dijven, though. They're probably not who you'd have expected to play in the quarterfinals, but a tough opponent all the same. Yeah, D Dirk's played well. You know, I've played him a few times mm -hmm. in the circuit, and he's, he, he's a tidy player, you know. It's uh, because I've not got all these titles behind him. You know, we, we talk about players that have played like your Michael Smiths and your other lads that are going to do this and that. These boys are all just as good, you know. It's uh, it's, it's very hard now, darts, you know. But yeah, yeah, Duck, he goes up there and plays darts, you know. He, he, he gives it big licks when he, when he gets the legs and uh, he played well against Dimitri tonight. Do you think the extended format, obviously it's still three in the next round, but do you think that gives you an advantage over the, the less experienced players in this format? I used to like the long games. But I've got to say, you know, I like the very short games. If it was first to one, that would do me, you know. But uh, but uh, no, it's 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 all good practice for me because I don't spend a lot of time on the European stage and things like that. I'm a match, well, I'm sure a match practice, you know. So uh, yeah, the, the more time that I spend on stage is probably better for me than now. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much, Gary. Gary, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, you had a, a chance at the nine darts towards the end there. You're disappointed not to get a pop at the ball. It's a nine darts, it's a leg, isn't it? Everyone gets excited like that, like 180s. We're supposed to do that, you know, but uh, no, you get shot on it, you miss it. There's no use uh, crying about it. You know, double 12 was more, I was more interested in hitting the double 12 uh, to get the leg done. But uh, like I say, they're nice to hit, but no, the leg's more important. You've got a really consistent record in these behind closed doors mergers. I mean, you seem to have adapted your game as good as anyone. I actually don't like it. 
I'm struggling. I don't know what's wrong with mirrors, but it, it, it sounds like a bit ooh up there. It's uh, it's not right, but uh, no, it's see when you've got a crowd in there, when you've got your fifteen hundred to ten thousand people, completely different game, you know. And uh, I think the sooner we get back to that, the better. And against Dirk in the quarterfinals, do you think your experience could be crucial there? Obviously, his first major quarterfinal. I don't think experience means nothing now. You know, these, these boys can all play darts, you know. I've, I've been about a while, yeah. I know the, the rights and the wrongs sometime, but uh, yeah, nah. Listen, it's, it's a game of darts, you know. The man who plays the best in the night will win. Boyle Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports.